This video is for the AM portion of Pentecost. For this route, you will clock in at Papa John and pick up your bus at McBride. The first turn will be directly on to Clinton. Now with all the construction, they've added that bike lane so you will be turning into a single lane road, so make sure to be cautious of the cars and bikers. Speed limit on Clinton is 15 miles per hour. Coming up is an optional stop that is frequently used, Clinton and Iowa. Make sure to always pull up behind a bus if they are stopped there, just in case there is a passenger that wants your bus. There's a, a bus behind you, make sure to pull up to this pole. Um, you want to leave enough in room so they're not sticking out in the intersection. When you merge back in onto Clinton, make sure to be cautious of bikes because it is now a single lane of traffic. If there is a Corval bus in front of you that is trying to get out, please be considerate and let them out. They will be doing the same to us. Then we are going to take a right onto Washington Street and you will turn directly into the left lane. The right lane is used by Iowa City Transit. We will stop at this mandatory crosswalk. The second crosswalk on Washington is only mandatory if there is a bus stopped in front of it. And then you will pull into the Schaefer stop. This is a mandatory stop. Make sure to pull all the way up. When you exit, make sure to go 15 miles per hour down this hill. Um, that is the speed limit, and it can be kind of hard to keep that 15 miles per hour, so always ride your brake. Um, up ahead, there are going to be two crosswalks standing in your way of your right turn. So if the one directly in front of you is clear, you can inch out um, until the second crosswalk is clear. You don't have to wait for both of them to be clear before inching out. Just make sure to not turn your wheel until the second crosswalk is clear. You're going to turn directly into the left lane. And then up ahead is the intersection of Iowa Ave. You are going to take a left onto Iowa Ave. Directly after this um, turn is the optional stop of Upper Park. Um, if there's nobody there or nobody wants to get off, you can directly go into off tracking, which means you get into the middle of the lane with your hazards on. This is important because we can't uh, pass under this bridge if we don't do that. After the bridge, you can merge into the left lane. And the speed limit is 25 on Iowa Ave. At the light, you are going to continue straight onto Newton Road. The speed limit on Newton Road changes to 20 miles per hour. Make sure to watch the bike lanes on your right side. Always really be cautious of pedestrians around this area. It is very heavily populated, so always be rocking and rolling and checking everything out. There is a mandatory stop, which is called Student Health. Again, pull all the way up. When you exit Student Health, there is a speed bump directly ahead. That speed bump is 15 miles per hour slash race crosswalks. So there's three race crosswalks on Newton Ave. Make sure that you are going very slow on those. If for whatever reason you're in a 30 footer, that speed limit over those race crosswalks goes down to 10 miles per hour. Coming up, there's another mandatory stop, which is Newton Road Ramp. Again, remember this is an accelerated video. We sped everything up to make it quicker and easier to watch, so this is not real time. So again, make sure to go 20 miles per hour. Up ahead, you are going to turn into the VA loop. It'll be the second entrance slash exit on your left. Make sure to trace over this uh, sidewalk with the front end of your bus to really get as close to the curb as possible, but always avoid pedestrians. So if there's somebody walking close, um, make sure to give them that space. You want to pull all the way up, leaving plenty of room for buses to get behind you. At the stop sign, you are going to take a left back onto Newton Road. And this part is really bumpy, so make sure to take it really slow and be extra cautious just to give your passengers a smooth ride. Up ahead at the top of the hill, there is an optional stop on your right, which is Newton and Lincoln. Up 
head, you are going to take a left onto Elliott Drive. You will make, need to make this turn very square. And then directly after your turn, there is an optional stop, which is Carver on your right. The speed limit on Elliott Drive is 25, but you don't have long to go on Elliott Drive, so you may not get up to that speed, which is fine. You will get into the right turn lane coming up at the slate, and you will take a right onto Hawkins Drive. When you take this right, you want to get directly into the left lane. Be cautious around these crosswalks. You will continue straight onto Hawkins. And then you will take a left onto Finkbine Commuter Drive. Immediately on your right is an optional stop, Finkbine Entrance. The speed limit on this side of the railroad tracks is 20 miles per hour. Make sure to stop at the railroad tracks. Remember that these are frequently used, so please be cautious. And then once you pass the railroad tracks, the speed limit changes to 15 miles per hour. Make sure to hug the right side of the road and stay in your lane. The curves are kind of tight. And then you are going to take the second right in the Finkbine parking lot. If you have to use a little bit of the opposing lane, that's completely fine. And then you can drive down the middle of the road without your hazards. And then there is a mandatory stop on your right, Finkbine North. And you will pull up until the last part of the raised crosswalk. So you are going to take a U-turn to your left down the next lane of cars. Make sure to drive down the middle of the lane and speed limit in all parking lots is 15 miles per hour. Then you can pull into the Finkbine South cutout and stop at the last bit of raised sidewalk. Then you are going to take a left onto Finkbine Commuter Drive. Make sure to go 15 miles an hour down this hill and really hug the right side, you want to make sure you stay in your lane. Make sure to stop at the railroad tracks, and then after the railroad tracks, speed limit is 20, and you are going to take your immediate right into the arena parking lot. In the arena parking lot, you also will drive down the center of the lane. And then on your right is mandatory stop, Arena West. You just want to pull up to that pavement and yield to anybody in this intersection. And then you will proceed to your other mandatory stop in Arena, Arena East. And again, you'll pull up to the sidewalk and then you will exit the arena parking lot to your left and follow this road down to the stop sign. At the stop sign, you will take a right on the Hawken Drive. Immediately at this turn, there is an optional stop arena on Hawkins. If somebody's there, definitely pick them up, but if nobody's there, you can proceed to the left lane and then head to the light and turn left on Elliott Drive. Coming up on your right is the optional stop dental on Elliott. Up ahead you are going to do a slanted right turn onto Newton Road, but make sure to yield to traffic. Coming up, there is going to be an optional stop on your right, which will be the dental college stop. And you'll continue down this road. I always take this road around 15 miles per hour because it is very bumpy. There's a lot of potholes 
Um, so please be cautious and try to be as smooth as possible for your passengers. And then you are going to turn right into the VA loop. And again, make sure to trace and you wanna pull all the way up, try to pull up to where that manhole is in your doors. You wanna basically give yourself enough room that you can get out, but you wanna make sure you give buses behind you plenty of room to park. And then at the stop sign, you are going to take a right onto Newton Road. Again, speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Again, make sure to go 15 miles per hour over these raised crosswalks, and then you have a mandatory stop, which is Murph, on your right. This is probably the smallest cutout on Newton Road, so make sure to, again, pull all the way up. Try to be as straight as possible. And then you will have another raised crosswalk coming up. This one, sometimes it can be hard to see, like pedestrians, so make sure to rock and roll. And then after this raised crosswalk, you will pull into another mandatory stop, which is PBDB. Coming down the hill, you want to stay in the left lane, and then you are going to go straight on to Iowa Ave. Iowa Ave splits into two lanes, so halfway through the intersection, you want to indicate that you are going to be in the right lane. You are going to stay in this right lane until after you pass the optional stop EPB that will be on your right directly after the bridge. If nobody gets their offer on, you can go ahead and merge into the center of the lanes off track yet again turn on your hazards and continue under the bridge. Make sure your hazards are on for this part and always be checking where cars are. Sometimes they try to pass you. And then you are going to merge into the left lane after the bridge. And then at the stoplight, you are going to take a left onto Madison Street. Make sure you are in the middle left turn lane. You want to turn into the outside lane or the right lane. Um, if you turn into the left lane, it's going to be too tight for you, so always be in the right lane. At this stop sign is another optional stop, the IMU. Sometimes people don't know that this is an optional stop, so when you stop at the stop sign, make sure to check to make sure nobody wants to get off, like nobody stood up or indicated that they were wanting to exit. And then you're going to take a right onto Jefferson Street, stay in the right lane, speed limit up this hill is 15 miles per hour. Make sure to be cautious around these crosswalks. There's two crosswalks, just like with uh, the crosswalks on Washington and Madison. Once one clears, you can proceed. You don't need to wait until both of them are clear to proceed. And then you will pull into McBride.